Here's a uh, quick video on my e-bike. It's a uh, Vector Typhoon. Um, Vector is a company in uh, Germany. And they made the frame and the, they put the forks on and all that stuff. And uh, I bought it from a guy in Philadelphia that put the uh, 134 volt battery in it, the uh, heavy duty um, controller, the motor, which is a QS205. And uh, the battery is 134 volts. So with that really high voltage, you'll get a lot more speed. So this bike tops out at 86 miles per hour. I haven't done it yet, but once I get more equipment, I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. But I've had it up to 75, and then I, I chickened out and let off. But um, it's got uh, motorcycle rims because and tires because you know once you get up to those speeds, bicycle rims and tires can't handle it anymore so it comes in at about 140 pounds because of all this stuff but uh, definitely worth it and for being off-grid living in a van this is definitely the way to go I mean I don't know if you'd want to go this high performance and spend this much money but if you're doing the van life get yourself an e-bike because Nine times out of ten, you can just leave your bike, leave your van where it's at, and you can uh, use the bike for getting around. But I went ahead and went for this uh, really high performance one. Hang on, I gotta pause. Okay, we're back. Some guy walking by, <laughs> kind of weird. Don't usually have that out here. But uh, yeah, it's 134 volt, tops out <clears throat> at 86 miles per hour. Um, it's really, you know, a high performance e-bike. It's probably the most high performance one in the country. Although there's another guy uh, somewhere in America that's got one because Mike, the guy that I bought this from, sold him one too. But uh, you definitely want to get you an e-bike though. Because like I said, you can leave your stuff sitting for a while and not have to go anywhere, not have to unhook. You could use your bike to go to the store or whatever, that's what I do. But yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I've had it for a couple years. And uh, I'm trying to get double front brakes. I've got it ordered, but waiting on it to come through because of COVID. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it my e-bike and I love it two years no problems when I want to I can do you know 70 miles an hour with no problem it's rare though but if you ever want to just go anywhere with no rules no restrictions no need for a license for it no tag no insurance you can go up on the sidewalk if you want you know as long as they're not you know too crazy about sidewalks here in Florida, they don't really bother you about that. You can drive the wrong way down a one-way street. I mean, I just tend to uh, start pedaling, you know, if I see a cop. That way they don't really think much of it. But yeah, it's great. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to uh, talk about a few things on the van with the next video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye-bye.